Hello fellow stackers, 365 here, welcome back to my channel. So apologies for starting the video in my bathroom staring at a toilet, but you'll soon quickly realise the reason why. Now for those of you that have been watching my channel for a year or longer, you would have seen this video that I uploaded exactly a year ago to today's date. You can see it's the 17th of December 2022. And I actually put a American Silver Eagle in the back of my toilet. Now the reason I did this was to prove that no matter what you do to a silver coin, it is still going to hold some value. Now that is why in my opinion, silver and precious metals in general, when you invest in them, they are superior to many, many other assets that are out there. There's lots of other assets like the stock market or crypto or physical assets such as bottles of whiskey or collectibles, Pokemon cards, whatever you choose to invest in. There's a lot of different reasons why those investments, in my opinion, could easily go to zero. Now, they take a lot of looking after, especially physical items, like if you're investing in bottles of whiskey, for example, you've got to keep them at a certain temperature. You've got to make sure that they're well protected and the glasses aren't going to break. If you invest in the stock market, say a scandal comes out or the company goes bankrupt, your stock could go to zero. And the same with crypto. Any one of the crypto coins could go to zero. You've lost your whole investment. So like I said, the point of this experiment is to show you that with precious metals investing, when you are buying the physical asset, you can pretty much do whatever you want to it. You don't have to worry about storing it at a certain temperature. You don't have to worry about putting all of your coins and bars into capsules. You can pretty much do whatever you want with your gold or your silver coins, and they're still going to hold some value. There's no chance that they're going to actually go to zero. And I did put a post up to the 365 Club members asking if they wanted a sneak preview. And most people said yes, but I decided to not do a sneak preview because I thought it'd be nice to wait for the whole year to be up. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to release this video two days early to the 365 Club members to make up for me not following through with getting out the coin a bit earlier for a sneak preview. So you will get to see it a couple of days before the rest of the world gets to see it. But yeah, I'm really interested to see how it looks. It's literally been in the back of my toilet for a whole year to today's date. So let's set up the camera now. And I'm going to do my best to not drop my camera in the toilet. I'm going to keep it rolling. I'm going to try and do it from this angle so I don't get in the shadow. There we go. Now I'm really interested to see how this looks. Because like I said... I haven't had a sneak preview, I've literally just left it alone. I'm going to carefully take this off. Oh, look at that. Right, let's put the light on and let's go and have a closer look. It actually looks in really, really good condition. Now, what I wanted to see is when the toilet's flushed, is it always submerged in water? I think it is. I don't think the, the water goes right down to below that level. But just to have a little look out of interest, let's have a look if it would have been submerged for the whole year. <laughs> yeah, so you can see, even when you flush the toilet, it never goes completely empty so this coin has in fact been submerged in water for a whole 365 days now I'm going to grab it out wow it actually looks in what's that little mark on it there oh it's got a little bit of a a mark on the middle there that's interesting now I'm guessing that's come off something that has been sitting on in the bottom because there's bits of debris and stuff in the bottom 
Right, let's have a look over here. Let me just turn the flash off. There we go. So you can see it's actually got some black marks on it there. Now this was the side of the coin that was actually touching the bottom. So I'm not exactly sure what those marks are. But overall, the coin actually looks in amazing condition, considering that's been submerged in water for a whole year. This side looks absolutely fine. And a few kind of surface blemishes that you can see at different angles. But as a whole, it actually looks absolutely fine. Now, I'm really not sure what these are. I might have to pop this to APM to give it one of his special cleans. Let's have a look at the rim. Now oh, you see the rim looks absolutely fine as well. It's got a few marks on it. So yeah, there we go. That's the condition of the coin. Now the next stage of this experiment is to list this coin for sale. I'm going to list this coin probably on the Silver Forum. But if there's anyone that's watching this video today, especially if you're from the UK, because it makes it a lot easier for me to ship this, the amount I would like for this coin is, let's say, £25. So if you're watching this video and you're from the UK and you would like to purchase this coin from me for £25, please let me know in the comment section of today's video or drop me an email. If nobody wants to buy it that's watching this video, I will list it on the Silver Forum because that is what I want to do to finalise this experiment. I want to prove that no matter what you do to your silver coins, they're still going to hold some form of value. Now, I could hammer this coin with a hammer, and yes, you're going to lose some of the premium when you come to sell, but the reality is there's still going to be a whole troy ounce, a whole troy ounce of fine silver. So it's never going to go to zero like some of the other investment vehicles could that I listed at the beginning of the video. So I hope you found this video interesting. Let me know your thoughts, what the marks could be on this side of the coin. But I'm really, really impressed with the quality of it. I really thought it would look rusty and really dull, but it's actually got a really nice shine to it still. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you want to purchase this coin for £25. And then we'll do an update video once this coin sells to conclude the experiment. As always, thanks very much for watching and I hope you have a very nice day.